Bank Business, African Development Bank has debarred Bula Universal Link Resources Limited and Bluestream Systems and Device Limited for fraudulent practices. The two companies were registered in Nigeria, the bank said in a statement on Tuesday. The AFDB announced the debarment of Bula Universal Link Resources Limited for 36 months and Bluestream Systems and Device Limited for 12 months. It stated that an investigation conducted by the bank's Office of Integrity and Anti-Corruption established that Bula Universal Link Resources Limited and Blue Stream Systems and Device Limited engaged in fraudulent practices through their joint bid submitted under the Urban Water Supply and Sanitation Improvement Project implemented in Oyo State, Nigeria. Another just concluded growth roundtable going for growth roundtable which held in Abuja bringing together Nigeria's leaders in the public and private sector. The founder of Zenith Bank, Jim Ovia, praised the Central Bank of Nigeria over the rejuvenation of the agriculture sector, particularly the rise of the rice pyramid as he also called for the need to further strengthen the banking industry being an important driver of, an, of our economy. We assume the banking sector is solid as a rock. But is it really solid as a rock? I know the gentlemen in the front row, I'm seeing them, they are all nodding that yes. But let's also see how it could be sustained. In many ways, yes, I believe the Nigerian banking industry is solid as a rock but we need to sustain them. One particular industry that we know in Nigeria here that we can look at as our own competitive advantage is not really manufacturing. It's not really agriculture. It's not really services. It is financial market, financial services, banking. Why is it a competitive advantage in relation to African countries. It is simple. Nigerian banks, financial services, have done extremely well. In 2004, before consolidation, all the Nigerian banks put together, I think the total market cap then was below 12 billion. But today, Ladies and gentlemen, one of the top tier banks, tier one banks, any one of them is much larger than all the Nigerian banks' shareholders' funds put together in 2004. In the US, banks are some of the most profitable entities there. If a bank goes under, it takes along with it many other industries. And I'm proud to say that the Central Bank of Vietnam had announced many times for those who care to hear, say, uh, listen, that no Nigerian bank will go under, under his leadership. 